your take on what took place between Joshua Fabia, Diego Sanchez, and obviously the UFC commentating team? Um, well, I can see why, like, Josh was upset. He was pretty disrespected when he first came out. Like, ooh, Diego left the, the, the you know, Jackson's the best camp ever to train with this guy. Um, and Diego, it must be because he's crazy. Uh, you know, that's got to be it. This guy's taking advantage of him. But, like, I know what it feels like to not be learning anymore, to be going to a gym and no one's really helping you. You're just there to help other guys get ready. You're not learning anything new. Your game's not changing. And then you go somewhere and you feel like, wow, I'm getting some attention. I'm getting taken care of. I'm having people focus on me directly. And, I, like, that was the thing, man. They weren't really helping Diego out over there at Jackson's, you know. They were just letting him get killed in there. They weren't saying, let's change your style. Let's have you slip your head. Let's have you not get hit as much. It was just like, Diego, go forward and, you know, make it a war. You know, it was pretty much like the advice he was getting. They'd kind of given up on him in terms of, like, trying to make him better and help him. You know, the focus was on the younger fighters in there and not on him. And I understand him for feeling that way. So uh, I understand why he went and started training with Josh. This guy's given him all his attention. And like, he was more than just the trainer. Like he really, you know, would help him out with his recovery and massages and be cooking his meals and like taking care of him and also getting him off. Like, you know, Diego was drinking a lot and, uh, you know, he got him to clean up and sober up and get off the booze and you know, kind of clean his life up and be more responsible and uh, be a better friend and return calls and kind of be a better parent. So he he did a lot more than just train Diego. He helped him kind of, you know, be, be a better person. But have that being said, Josh is really abrasive and really like angry. He's got a lot of anger and anger ultimately pushes people away. It's divisive. And he felt disrespected, but uh, by the commentating team, which he totally was, but instead of like handling it in a positive way, he just came out with a lot of anger and anger begets anger. And it's not a good look for Diego. And uh, I told Diego, do you really want your legacy to be like a little angry guy talking for you, you know, or, you know, your legacy to be you being Diego and, you know, being sincere with people, people love you, you know, so yeah, he's awesome. honest, he's sincere with people. And, and that's, that's, what's really going to matter in the end, you know? So he was like, yeah, you're right. You know, and uh, Josh eventually um, snapped on Diego's mom and went off on her. And that was when Diego said, uh, uh-uh, you know, enough's enough. You don't disrespect my mom. You're fired. And that's when he canned him. And uh, yeah, you know, and, and Josh wasn't real, real professional with the separation either. Unfortunately, you know, it's when yeah. And then he went around like a like a little kid, like a middle schooler, like breaking up a relationship, and and yeah, talking a bunch of shit about Diego too, and like stupid stuff, like you know, stuff that wasn't even that bad. Like Diego did steroids in high school when he won state in wrestling like come on dude like really you're gonna out him and tell on him for that like that's the worst you could think of you got to go back 20 some years to his fucking high school yeah. like come on dude yeah, yeah dude, dude, with, with all that going on though i mean to me diego was was almost overly loyal to joshua until the end like you know like loyalty is a factor in fighting in many different ways he showed that here and then it, the ufc did get to the point where they fired him how do you feel about that? Like, you know, or how did Diego, if, if you can share, like, how did Diego feel about that? Because that seemed to catch him by surprise. Like, he didn't expect that. Yeah, like, uh, he. I mean, that's a shame, man. That was like his going out fight. And they gave him a good fight. They gave him Cowboy. And what more you could ask for? It's hard to get your way with them. And when you finally do, it's like, what a gift. Like, you know, finally an old guy that's, you know, been knocked out a lot, you know, it's more uh, an old training partner. It's a good story, but uh, uh, to, yeah, to go and screw that up the way he did, uh, I thought was just unnecessary, unnecessary. And Josh was all proud of himself. Like, Oh, look at that. I got Diego's full payday and win bonus. And he didn't even have to go in there and fight like, Oh, look how great I am. But, um, you know, I know with Diego, it was like uh, he didn't 
it, he see you could tell like although he seemed like yeah it's nice yeah hey i got paid full payday but you know like deep down underneath it like you know he didn't want to go out like that no and that 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 bridge is burnt so at that point Uh, yeah yep check out the full interview on itunes spotify and all major podcast platforms